agenda. I want to try to get the manifold in on the back of the motor and then all my fittings tightened down. <sighs> kind of a short day. I'm pretty sick. Um, not really feeling the best, but I do want to start getting some of this stuff uh, wrapped up. And I have an idea of how I'm going to fit everything. So that's what's going to happen today. So feed and drain lines all tightened down to the block. Uh, downpipe is going to be completely tightened. I want to get the sensors in and then just get the manifold. I don't want to worry about that intake tube yet. Um, things that I might have to do is kind of move this out of the way. Move the, this system out of the way. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. So, we're going to get into it. I'll do a better job of showing you uh, what I'm actually doing when I'm underneath or just explaining. So, we'll see. Alright, got the new gasket. And this right here is the manifold. So the waste gate is going to be right here. And then turbo right there so let's see what we can do I'm gonna throw on the gasket and then try to pit maneuver this thing into place without moving anything yet and if I gotta push down a bunch of stuff I will and then I'll work around this instead of trying to work this around everything else which is pretty fucking impossible, so that's the plan. All right, so this is on. So actually, this will be super easy. Uh, I'm just gonna run these and move this back to the firewall. So that will be plenty of clearance. So that's gonna be taken care of. The problem is, is the PCV system here, so it runs up on the top down and it's actually getting caught here so it's not letting the manifold sit as flush as I want it but everything else it clears surprisingly well so I think what I'm gonna do is take this out for now and then try to see if I can move it possibly um, or have it sit somewhere else because uh, putting the crossover tube down I think the tube is gonna sit it's gonna have to come through here um, yeah we're gonna have to move quite a bit so I want it to sit right above my linkage my shifters but I think you get this moved a bit We'll have enough room. Who knows though? Truly. All right. To give an idea of kind of what we're working with here is that I kind of have both pieces mocked up. So it's a recirc. It's going to recirc into this, into the exhaust. Um, this right here is where the turbo is going to connect. So the turbo is going to sit right around here. All right, my intake is going to come right there. Um, we're going to have to move this line. I don't know where yet. It's sitting high. If I could get it to sit a little bit lower, it could work. I could wrap it in some heat something to do with heat I don't know heat wrap something um, so that's fine turbo's gonna sit here all right wastegate is gonna recirc it's gonna connect to both of these tubes <laughs> As far as the 
fitment it is pretty fucking lined up i don't know if you can see it it's right here let me see if i can get you guys down there right there so i just did a clamp on that and it's actually not gonna be bad um there is a little bit of fitment issues here so i do have to work on this this one's not even clamped in but once it's in actually i think that might be that might be good truly i'm gonna clamp that in and see what it's going this is a cooling overflow i do need to tie into that and i need to make an amp fitting for that as well so that's still on the list um what else what else what else i think it's probably another two weekends and i should have this thing the turbo mocked up so i'm gonna get started on trying to see what i can do to relocate this here and then i'm gonna see what i could do Ooh, kind of gross in there it's been sitting for a while um and i'm gonna see what i could do about moving these lines around this um i do have a new catch can on the way so this little crappy thing can be moved and then i do my pipe just came in um the intake so i can kind of mock that up so making progress we are making progress <laughs> So the feed line, which is, you see it right there, is in there. Got my washer. Got everything tightened up. So that line is good to go. And where I see, I see what mostly is I'm probably just going to run it up here. Just like that. Just something basic. I'm not going to tuck it. Um super super well um but yeah i have way way more than enough um see if i get any leaks from that if not i can either swap the washer out for something a little thicker or i don't know figure something out but it should be good that's tight now the next thing to tighten down on this would be the the drain um, and I was thinking I might get this section prepped and tight before I tighten down the drain because I do need to run this drain somewhere probably it's gonna sit underneath here um, so I'm gonna mock that up now and see if I can tighten everything up if not I'll just put it back over here for now but we'll see we'll see we'll see all right, so I have this line here ran behind, kind of like by the uh, fuel pump there and clipped here. I disconnected this entire thing. I'm going to do some research to see if I can relocate this, if I can cut this, move it back, and then run it under possibly. I'm not sure. I have my drain ran. Um, it's not hanging on anything. It's just kind of there under the shitter cables. I think that'll be a good spot. You can kind of get an idea over here. So, uh, feed I'll put right there, and then uh, there's the drain. So now the last thing I want to do is get a size for my cool plug which is down here let's see if i can get you guys an angle that silver bolt yeah that's what i gotta tap into and i believe jump into that right there so from there to there short but i want to do an am fitting possibly they're a little bit more reliable if for some odd reason I can't, what I'm gonna do 
is take the original fitting, which is this, which is held on by banjo bolts, and I'll just cut straight into it, put a hose clamp, and then right into there with like a, just a straight little PVC thing. But I don't want to do that because that's kind of unreliable. And I'm not trying to pop a fitting or like have a leak, which would be devastating. So we'll see. First off, let me go get the fitting that I have in the car and see if I can move it or put it into that little, little thread pitch right there. I think I know what it is, but just in case I don't, I just want to test some test some shit out for the ordering stuff. All right, I think I'm gonna leave off for the mocking up today. This is pretty fucking close to where everything's gonna be. Um, I do want to add my wastegate. That way I know this lines up, and then I'll line up the nickel pipe and everything. But it is pretty fucking close down there, as you see. I couldn't find that fitting for the coolant um, in the back of the block, so I'm just gonna order something up. I have an idea of what it is, so. Um, feed line, done. Drain, pretty much done. Um, so here it is here. Easy turbo right here. Like I said, wastegate. And then I think for the rest of today, I only got a little bit of daylight left. I am going to throw in my little manifold or my piping right here. So it's gonna come down and into the intercooler here. Um, so I think I'm just gonna do that. That's one more thing off the checklist that I don't have to do. Um, and I'm sick, so I want something easy. I've been battling this custom kit for two weeks now, so this I can be able to throw in, boom, done. And I can pull in a day. All right, I went with the just a CFAB Motorsports piece of piping, uh, and all it's gonna do is I'm just gonna shove it right there okay so palmed up into the inner cooler it's not tight yet but right there clamp again loose pipe goes up and right into the head. take manifold right up there it is a tight ass fucking fit. Especially if you have a blow off valve. But looks looks to be seated. Everything looks good. So I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Um, I think I'm kind of done with underneath the car. Um, drain plug or drain for the turbo. Right there. Um, that's that. Not Right there for the coolant, and then there's my feed, and that's kind of how it looks underneath right now. Um, it is fucking tight, I won't lie, but slowly but surely, it's coming together, one step at a time. All right, running out of daylight. Got a decent amount done. Got a lot of plumbing and mock-up done, which is really nice to see. Um, good progress. Hoping to get done two, two more weeks, three more weeks. I get the car on the ground. And we could kind of go for a test fire. Fire up. Hopefully not fire. Jesus Christ. But it's looking good. It's coming together. A um, little bit of research to do. I need to see how I can plumb this PCV system. Um, the sensors here, I might have to splice into this and extend it, possibly. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, oh, gotta get the coolant line ordered. Actually, gotta get the coolant line ordered or the fitting because I'm gonna go 
AN. I need to see how I can fit this sensor into the intake. And yeah, just there's a bunch of other like little small random things that are keeping progress up. But hopefully this week I can do a little bit of research and we can go ahead and get that ordered and done. Um, I do have my piping in for my intercooler. The manifold, that's good. That's done. But yeah, turbo's painted and done. The only thing really left is putting the wastegate on so I can now line up this with the downpipe. So once that's lined up with the downpipe, um, we can make adjustments up here with the turbo. Um, most of these lines are out of the way now. I do need to buy some heat shrink for some lines because they are very, very close. Very close. But it's looking really nice. It's coming together. It's going to look dope. I'm happy with it. So, we'll see. We'll see in time. We'll see in time. Appreciate you guys for watching. Like always. Like always. I know it's a little boring here. I'm not driving. But soon, soon. Springtime. This thing will be tuned and ready. I do have another motor coming on the way. I got a good ass deal on it. So hopefully this one survives the tuning process. And then we can build that motor on the side. So we'll see. We'll see. Alright. Peace out. Mm -hmm.